Hi, this is Sanjay Gangal from GIS Cafe. I'm here with Tom Counts, CEO uh, and uh, founder of 3Js. Um, hello, Tom. Hi, it's good to see you again, Sanjay. Uh, uh, good to see you too. Uh, so, uh, so tell us uh, uh, what is going on with 3Js. Well, I mean, we're growing, and we've been growing since the day we started in 2006. Um, one thing I always thought we'd be a nice small company dealing, d developing uh, software solutions for the tier two, tier three audience of the telecom industry. And we have grown so much, we're delivering now to the tier one industry. It's gr we're growing quickly. We've got over 120 employees now, okay. uh, which is amazing to me. Mm -hmm. uh, small office in uh, Decatur, Alabama, which, most, which is our headquarters. Uh, but we also have opened an office in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we have an office now we've opened in Bern, Switzerland, and we're looking at opening, opening an office uh, next year in the Middle East. It'll most likely be Dubai, but it could be Jordan as well. So uh, we see our business really starting to expand uh, internationally. We've added a uh, half dozen new customers this year in, in Europe, and we have a lot of activity. We have a few customers in the Middle East, and we expect to really see a lot of new activity in the Middle East next year. So we want to make sure we're well, well prepared for that. Okay. So, so tell us about your products. Well, we have uh, two main products. Uh, we have 3GS Web and 3GS Mobile. Uh, our products are really focused on helping people uh, design, construct, manage their fiber optic networks. Um, and that has always been our focus, is, is, is being the very best at what we can be in managing fiber networks. We're actually adding copper modeling to our network now, and people say, well, aren't you looking backwards when you talk about copper? And I have to say yes, a little bit. But so many of the larger telecoms out there today have legacy copper networks they have to manage. Mm -hmm. And if they're going to manage a system, they want to manage it in a single repository. So even though the real bill today is fiber, um, we still need to manage copper at the same time we see it. So as much and as hesitant as I was to do it, we, we are, we're moving into copper network development and we'll be releasing that mo module at uh, the very end of this year. So it will be fourth quarter of, of, the, of 2019 that we will also be supporting copper networks. So. Okay. And, and what makes your uh, uh, solutions for this uh, uh, market uh, special and unique? Well, so I've been doing this a while. This is my 30-something year of, 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 of developing these solutions. But when we started 3GIS, we developed it on, completely on a platform of ArcGIS server, wanting to make sure we had something that could reach the entire enterprise mm -hmm. using a thin client. So, so while we do not use any desktop solutions, everything we do is browser-based. So we really focus a lot of our work on, on making sure the, the, the GUI is, is a GUI that's focused singularly on managing and building and designing a fiber network. And underneath, on the server side, we're ready to scale. And, and that was something that I learned in a previous life with a very large customer, how difficult scale really was. Uh, when you start really started, start talking about adding millions or tens of millions of objects and thousands of people editing at the same time, it becomes a real challenge. So from the very beginning, we made sure we had a system that could scale, that could, that could, that could support that type of transactional uh, burden. And so now, even last year, with uh, one of our big projects we had going on, we were posting over 40,000 uh, work orders per day. Oh. And, and, and previously, doing 4,000 a day was tremendously difficult on just straight SDE. But now an RGS server, thin client, a scalable architecture, and, and we also deliver our system in the cloud on Amazon Web Services, we can really deliver a performant solution across the entire enterprise that everyone can have access to using using our thin client, using Esri Portal, or even using the other Esri, Esri third-party solutions. Since we don't use custom features or stored procedures, um, we're very ecosystem friendly. Uh, just because I'm selling 3GS Web and 3GS Mobile doesn't mean that's the only way you can get to our data. We say if you have a, a, an Esri-based solution that can read, that is comfortable reading and accessing Esri data, it can get to my data as well. So, so we try to make sure that we have a system that anybody across the telecom in, in, enterprise, in, including the customer base, has an access point into the data. You've been coming to this Esri user conference for a long time. Uh, as, as, uh, uh, what does this conference really? Here. Yeah, what does the conference really mean to you? Well, I mean, the conference is personal. I mean, it really is. It's it is business. We do really good business here, and we always have. This is one of our biggest investments. But it's also a lot of friends. Uh, I've, I've made so many friends with Esri, with the partners. I see the same people every year. I see I make new friends, just mm -hmm. like you. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and, and I see them every year and it's a chance to reconnect. It's a chance to find out how's the family, how's it going, where are you pushing technology, what's happening in your neck of the woods, as we would say in Alabama, uh, and, and, and where are the opportunities moving. Um, so it's, it's here, I mean, there's a global presence here. So I don't have to travel all over the world to see people from all over the world. Uh, so it's here and the partner conference that are very valuable to me because in one location I can see people from every corner of, of the world mm -hmm. and, and have a discussion, talk about business, talk about family, talk about politics, mm -hmm. you know, and just, just connect. And so we can connect on so many levels and I always get to have a chance to see Jack, which is cool, and uh, a good friend of ours and a good supporter of 3GIS. And so it's good to it's good to stay in front of the right people, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, no, 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 uh, final question uh, I had was: uh, You've been in the telecom market for a long time. Uh, what's going on there? Wow. Okay. So the telecom market's going through another big change, mm -hmm. and and everybody is talking about IoT and 5G, and with with and 5G is really creating the next transformation that we see in, in the fiber network market. For for years, we've been focused on fiber to the home or fiber to the X. Fiber to the prem, fiber to the curb, fiber to the home, fiber to the premise. But now we are seeing huge projects in densification in preparation for 5G. Um, if you think of a, of a 4G antenna, they could be a mile and a half apart. A 5G antenna can be a few hundred feet apart. And, 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 and each one of them takes a series, of, uh, uh, you know, four to eight strands of fiber. And when you start thinking about all those antennas consuming that much fiber, that's a challenge. Hmm. And it's, it's going to be completely transformational. I believe it's going to be the same as what we experienced when the internet came out. I think when 5G truly rolls out and the benefits are, 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 are realized by society, it's going to be truly transformational. But the journey to that transformation is building the right infrastructure, and that is fiber. And so even though everybody's talking about 5G antennas and what, they're going to, what 5G means to us, it's meaningless without a backbone. And that backbone is all fiber. And that is that is really giving us a lot of lot of lot of work and a lot of yes. lot of things to do. And it's it's really good that we built a system that is enterprise ready and can scale and is built on the right Esri architecture, because uh, I believe we're taking that market by storm. Okay. It looks like the three GIS is really positioned itself for this five G market uh, really well. You've been working all these years just for this day to come. I hope so. Yeah. You know, I really do feel like we've positioned ourselves properly. We've, we've, we've maintained our reputation. Uh, we've grown steadily and consistently and healthily. Uh, we've got the right employees and we've certainly got the right technology behind us. So thank you so much, Sanjay, for this day. Okay. Uh, and uh, what is the best way for people to find out about 3GIS on the internet? Uh, www.3-gis.com. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, Tom, for coming over here to talk to us. Have a great show.